Hey everyone, so today we're reviewing the, uh, the Spider-Man Classic Simeo Blast Venom. This figure is badass. I love this figure. Here he is uh, crushing uh, the Spider-Man Classic, the original Venom, in his stupid V-joint. Well, yeah, this figure is so cool. Let's just get that out of here. This figure is just so awesome. You can see... I like how they like sculpted this. It looks like it's like like I don't know. It's like if I don't know, if you look close, you can see there's like little like goop. I don't know if you can see that if my camera focuses, but you see the sculpting is very nice. I like how the shoes are pointy. I don't know why. I just like it. It's kind of like a classic Venom. I don't know why. You can see the. Multiple like goops and like on like the back, there's like these like little like goop drops. I don't know if you can see that, but so awesome. The sculpting is very cool. He has this uh, tongue. Some people uh, complain that like his tongue's sticking out, so like it's not like an uh, actual like, classic for them. But I don't mind it. I like the book. so my number one complaint about this figure is that. This button on the back, he has this function. Can you even make that out? So basically his function is to open his already open mouth like this. I have no idea why they added that in. So this button is supposed to have like a little like wrist thing. It's supposed to like plug into like the wrist and has like, it shoots like a, a, a missile. I don't have that, but I mean, I think it's kind of stupid. I just want, I just want this Venom figure because it just looks cool. It looks cool. It just really, I like the uh, the Venom logo. It looks pretty menacing and very. Okay, so the sculpting is just very, very nice. One thing that Hasbro doesn't do in this, didn't Hasbro Marvel One doesn't do anymore is that I don't know if you can see that, but. It's like white paint and it has like a baby blue, baby blue like shading and like the middle parts. That's just so cool. Ooh. This Venom figure is bad. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about the articulation. So, uh, let's talk about the articulation. Our liver pancreas, so many snacks, so little time. We are Venom. God, this figure is so cool. So, also another one of my complaints is that he can't move his head. I'm moving, I'm moving this part, and it just not does not does not budge. So that's that stinks. So his arm, arm moves. Three sixty three. Yes. Single joint elbow, which. I don't really complain about like I I don't really complain about single joint elbows if the if the character's supposed to be buff. He has individual finger articulation, which is awesome. I love individual finger articulation. Put him in a okay. Okay. Middle finger. Alright, so Move a leg forward, elbow jointed knee. Have a uh, what's it called? Foot, foot rotation? I forgot what the an ankle joint. I don't know. Ankle pivot and toe articulation. He also has. Waist, waist swivel, diaphragm joint. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention he has ball joints. Ball joints. I don't think to I don't think Hasbro does ball joints anymore because I, I'm sure I think Toy Biz doesn't do them anymore because like so they don't want to end up like Toy Biz. Toy Biz went out of business like in 2007, I think. When, when did Toy Biz get like? Uh, out of business, 10-7, right? I don't know. 
This figure came out in 2006. So like one year before Toy Biz went out of business. But still, this figure is so cool. So badass and awesome. So if I bring my tape measure in here, he stands at about... Stands about seven and a half inches tall. Here he is standing next to uh, Spider-Man Classic Series 1 Spider-Man figure and you can see uh, he's just way taller. Here he is standing next to Sandman, the Spider-Man Classic Sandman, they stand by like the same height. Here he is standing next to Hank Pym without the helmet since he's like a very average sized Marvel legend. Here he is standing next to the first Spider-Man Classic Venom, at least Spider-Man Classic Venom was uh, the full Venom. God, this figure is so... The figure's so bad. Uh, v joint. What? what? Okay. This figure's just way better than this one. Unfortunately, I don't have a, a Carnage figure to compare this Venom figure to in size comparison. But it is what it is. This Venom figure, I really recommend. And he's just he's just a very good Venom figure. I don't. I mean, uh, if you don't mind like the uh, the the tiny arms and like the button on his back. It works. So if you find if you find this figure for a cheap for a cheap price, get this figure. This guy is so amazing. Okay, that's the review, guys. Bye. This, not this. This, not this. Winner, loser. Anyone else get that Emperor's New Groove uh, reference?